हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज पलक गुप्ता आई होप यू ऑल हैव हर्ड अबाउट अटम बायोडाइवर्सिटी बाइज वीन ऑल नो अवर वर्ल्ड इज रिच इन द वेराइटी ऑफ स्पीशीज ऑफ पॉपुलेशन सो वी नीड टू डिस्टिंग्विश दैम फॉर द वेराइटी ऑफ रीजन सच एज फॉर कंडक्टिंग बायोलॉजिकल एंड बायोडाइवर्सिटी रिसर्च एंड इज ऑल्सो हेल्प ऑफ अ साइंटिस्ट टू सेव टाइम इन कंडक्टिंग वेरियस स्टडीज ऑफ देयर हेल्थ सो वी हैव इम्प्लीमेंट अवर प्रोजेक्ट फॉर द सेम इट्स अ कैगल चैलेंज विच आर होस्टेड ऑन द कैगल वन ईयर बैक Uh, which uh, help us to identify the dog breeds using the machine learning and transfer learning so let's see for our data set we use stanford dog data set provided by kaggle which contain 10222 images for training and 10357 images for testing data set provide us 120 different dog breeds that is labeled by a csv file having attributes id and a dog breed name and id shows the name of the images and it is been marked to the dog breed name in the csv file now if we will talk about methods and methodology we will like to first discuss about the keras libraries keras libraries are basically the high level neural network api that runs on the top of the tensor flow you know cntk etc it is widely used in the image identification transfer learning transfer learning is basically the uh, model that we have used with the pretend cnn architecture with the image net weights uh, if we talk about the models that we have used first of all we have tried inception v3 in inception v3 it basically consists of 42 convolution layers which is having a maximum input of 299 cross 299 and we get an output of 2048 and that Uh, this output has come after applying the global average pooling and uh, irrespective of that we have also added the fully convolution neural networks uh, at the top of it but the thing that we have faced through this model is that we could not able to achieve the accuracy as we have requirement of so we tried another model that is inception resnet v2 this uh, model basically this architecture consists of uh 164 uh, layer convolution layers with a maximum input of 299 cross 299 and with an output of uh 1536 but uh basically what problem we are facing in both, both the model is that we could not able to achieve the accuracy and other than that we could not able to get the overfitting our validation accuracy is just getting saturated with the outputs and with the inputs so we tried other models also so let's have a look towards it uh, so the second library we use is the fast ai library uh, which helps us to simplify training fast and accurate neural networks using common best practices prevalent uh, in other uh, training methods now and this simplifies the process using uh, um, by tuning the hyperparameters so some of the process involved in this library are the stochastic gradient descent with restart differential learning rate across different layers and test time augmentation with cyclical learning rate so we implemented two architectures in this library the resnet 101 and resnet 50 resnet 101 is a cnn architecture trained on the image net database and it has a input size of 224 cross 224 and has 101 layers to classify images So similarly we uh, implemented another architecture called the ResNet 50 uh, in this particularly 50 layers are present uh, like the pre- previous one and uh, the layers are uh, one convolutional layer w- followed by a batch norm followed by a max pool layer followed by a convolutional block followed by two identity blocks a conv block three identity blocks followed by another conv block five identity blocks and another conv block at the end we have two identity blocks and an average pooling layer and the final dense layer now the partic- uh, the reasons uh, which we chose these two architectures the reset of uh, resnet uh, are that less comparatively less parameters are included uh, in these uh, frame in these architectures so uh, the processes are a bit faster and uh, these architectures require less operation of gpu Uh, due to the less number of layers present in these so the process becomes fast and the accuracy is also ach- achieved is also comparably better than the previous uh, libraries or the previous architectures let's have an overlook of the code first we have imported the necessary libraries installed the fast ai library 
then imported the fast ai libraries read the csv files define the architecture image size and the batch size made an augmentation model then classified the data from the csv defined a model using conv learner giving the architecture data and pre compute then found out the learning rate by sketching the plot here we have taken the learning rate as 10 to the power minus 1 defined a function for the image data augmentation fit the model uh, with the learning rate 10 to the power minus 1 for five epochs without data augmentation then augmented the data by calling the function and then again we have fit the model with learning rate and three epochs using a cycle length then we have fit the model for more epochs and finally we have achieved a accuracy of 90% with a validation loss of 35.35 this part is making the csv file to submit to the kaggle